All right, I want to welcome everyone to the webinar, and we're going to give it just another minute or so before we get started. You have just joined us for Expert Profits, Five Simple Steps to Profiting from What You Know. We're going to just wait a few more minutes here, not too much longer, maybe a minute or so, to give people an opportunity to get in the room here. And I like to start on time, so again, it's not going to be very long before we do that. For those of you that may not be able to stick around for the entire presentation, I want to let you know that you can go back and watch the replay by visiting justexperts.com, www.justexperts.com. We have a lot of information to cover tonight, and we're going to go over it relatively quickly because you can, in fact, go back and watch it again if you need additional time to digest it. But please don't stop to think about it too long because this is going to be a common sense type of approach to things. And I promise you that it will not be things that will be rocket science for you. It may be new. It may be different. It may be something you've considered in the past but not taken action on. But these five simple steps are truly that. They're simple and they're things that you can do right now in your business. So let's uh, go ahead and get started. I want to honor the people who got here on time. And uh, of course, anybody that comes late can find their way to the replay to find out what they may have missed. So this presentation is for speakers, trainers, coaches, wellness professionals, anyone who is an, a subject matter expert, anyone that educates as part of what they do whether you're doing consulting, whether you are doing coaching, whether you are doing um, any other type of education process where you're, even if you're like a real estate agent that does home buying workshops where part of your business involves speaking and educating people before they make a purchasing decision, whether it's to use your services or otherwise, we consider you to be a subject matter expert. And as an expert, you occupy a unique position where you have the ability to create influence with people who want to know what you know. And you should not underestimate the power of that position because when you establish trust and credibility with people, you really put yourself in a position to not have to deliver sales pitches as much as you are delivering an opportunity for people to understand what's in it for them to work with you. Now, I want to make sure that we understand that not every subject matter expert is taking their business seriously, or taking their position as a subject matter expert seriously. So we're going to do a little assessment and find out whether or not you are taking your business seriously. Before we do that, though, I'd like to introduce myself and um, just to make sure that people understand a little bit about my background and where I believe that I can be helpful in clarifying some things that will help you to move your speaker or subject matter expert business along. My name is Glenn Garns, and I am the founder of Village Connector Community. Village Connector Community is an internet television and radio network devoted to personal development. And when I say we are devoted to personal development, we serve basically two, audi or two audiences that will be relevant for your purposes as a subject matter expert. Number one, we serve people who are looking for personal development, self-help related content. As you'll find out later, that's a huge industry. And if you don't know, you probably already know that if you're, if you're serving as a subject matter expert. But if you don't, we're going to talk a little bit about that later. Now, the other thing that we do is we serve the speaker or subject matter expert community. We work with subject matter experts who are looking to produce content who are looking to host events, who are looking to uh, live stream events and create online courses and things of that nature. That is the nature of what we do. We operate three recording studios, two TV studios and a radio studio from our offices in Laurel, Maryland. And we have people that travel from all over the world to use these studios to produce educational programming. Now, during the course of this webinar, I'm going to make reference to my story. I don't like to talk about myself except to the extent that what I have in my background is directly relevant to something I'm sharing with you. 
So you're going to see this image that you're looking at right now when I'm about to share a little bit of background that leads or directly relates to the subject that we're discussing at the time. So just be prepared for that. I don't want to waste your time with a whole bunch of um, credentialing from me because, frankly, you know, my experience only illustrates what you could be doing for yourself. So before we get started, let's take a little quiz together because I always like to know, and I always like for people that are listening to this presentation to know, whether they are truly taking their businesses seriously. So first question I have for a subject matter expert who believes that they're taking their business seriously, and these questions that I'm going to ask you to think about, you don't have to have a specific answer to them, but obviously the more of these questions that your answer is no uh, to, the more likely it is that you are not doing everything you can to take your subject matter expert business seriously. So I just ask you to think about that as we ask these questions. The first question is, do you belong to a speaker bureau? If you are not a member of a speaker's bureau, chances are that you are missing opportunities to get exposure in a, in a, in a way that gives you access to your ideal client. And so being a member of a speaker's bureau is, in fact, one way to measure your sincerity or your uh, seriousness about your business. Do you speak at least monthly? If you're a subject matter expert, I don't care whether you are a uh, coach or a trainer or a real estate agent, if you are not speaking at least monthly, it's our opinion that you might not be taking your speaker and subject matter expert, expert business seriously. Do you have a professionally produced entry-level product? And what I mean by that is some type of digital product or digital introduction to you that allows a consumer, uh, you know, a, a customer, to get a chance to get a low-risk introduction to you and what you're capable of doing. We find that um, most successful subject matter experts are creating those types of uh, courses. Do you host your own events at least monthly? And this is another one that's, a, it's you know, these are not definitive, but I mean, again, if you find that you are not hosting your own events and not speaking at other people's events, then you really have to ask yourself the question of how seriously are you taking your business as a subject matter expert? Do you have a marketing plan? That's a big one. And unfortunately, a lot of subject matter experts that answer no to that don't realize that your marketing plan doesn't have to be extremely complex or extremely detailed, but it has to be something that you've given conscious thought to, preferably reduced to writing, and are following on a consistent basis. Do you have a pitch pack? A pitch pack is simply the information, your one sheet that you send out to seek outside speaking engagements. I believe every subject matter expert ought to have one, and if you do not, then you should consider changing that for yourself. Do you invest in continuing education? I think that's kind of a no-brainer. We'll talk a little bit about that later. Are you utilizing live streaming for its full potential? Now, this is a big one, and we might spend a little time on that one because I think that's one of the biggest opportunities for subject matter experts today is the ability to reach a live audience pretty much at the drop of a hat and anytime you like. And finally, do you regularly collaborate with other experts? In other words, are you participating in events where you're working together with other subject matter experts to collaborate on putting on that event? Now, again, that's a very quick quiz. It should give you a very quick barometer for just how seriously you're taking your speaker business. And so I would ask you again to entertain the question right now, are you taking your speaker business seriously? And it's okay if you have to answer temporarily no to that, or maybe, or kind of, because our goal tonight is not to make you feel bad. We want to educate you so that you can make sure that you're not missing opportunities by not just con not having the opportunity to consciously think about what it is you could be doing that could improve your ability to take your speaker business seriously. So we believe here at Village Connector Community that today's subject matter expert needs several important components 
to be able to answer yes to the question, are you taking your speaker business seriously? The first thing is a systematic lead generation system. And we're going to talk about that in a little detail shortly. Not too much, just enough for you to get the idea. We believe that a subject matter expert should have a professionally produced entry-level product and should be engaging in ongoing education for themselves, whether that's about their subject matter expertise or about building their business or about technology and keeping on top of what's available for them to do a more efficient job of reaching their ideal clients or all of those things. Understanding emerging technologies, that's part of the ongoing education, but it's also a matter of once you know that it exists, you give some consideration into where it should be deployed and show up in your business. And then the strategy and vehicles for collaboration. If you don't have a strategy and a vehicle for collaboration, you may be missing some pretty substantial opportunities for you to fully develop your subject matter expert business. So let's talk first about a systematic lead generation system. I want to define what I mean by system because that can sometimes be a little bit nebulous for people until we understand that that's not a complicated process. It's not intense. It's just what it is. And for us, a system is nothing more than a repeatable process that yields predictable results. A repeatable process that yields predictable results. And what I mean by that is very simple. A predictable process can be something as simple as sending out your pitch pack to organizations that might be interested in hiring you or bringing you in to speak you know, for a fee or at, or, or at no cost, and having a basis upon which people who you speak in front of can then get connected and stay connected to you after the fact, get on your mailing list, whatever that might mean. Maybe today it might mean joining a, or starting a Facebook group where you can have people congregate to continue, to continue the dialogue, so to speak, after you've done your engagement. So processes or, or systems do not have to be complicated. They can be manual. They can be automated. But I find that most systems are a combination of automation and manual operation. It doesn't really matter, though, as long as it is working for you. And when I say a repeatable process that yields predictable results, what I'm referring to there is that sometimes you find that if you go to a speaking engagement, if there are 30 people in the room and you have an opportunity to present what you do, that you can expect somewhere between three to four or five or six maybe people that might express an interest in what you do, hiring you, becoming part of what you're doing, whatever, so that you can then predictably result that for every speaking engagement you do, you can expect to acquire three to five new clients, new customers, whatever that might be. You develop a little bit of a ratio with respect to how many people you can reasonably anticipate will, will follow up and be interested in what you do. Now, the only way to know that is to do it consistently enough that you can see if the ratio emerges. And you'll find that as time goes on, the more you do it, the higher the ratio becomes because you get better and better at presenting uh, your value proposition in a way that inspires people to take advantage of it. So it's now time for us to talk a little bit about my story as it relates to just this subject matter. Some of you may know, and those of you that don't, I'm going to let you know that I'm a retired attorney. I've been licensed to practice law since 1983, so it's been you know, a fair amount of time. And Early on in my legal career, my very first speaking engagement started when I was doing primarily personal injury and workers' compensation work on behalf of plaintiffs and claimants. And I had the bright idea that I was going to go out and speak to the labor force, to speak to labor groups and speak to you know, workers and educate them on their rights to help them protect their rights when they were injured on the job. And I did that with the intention of it becoming a lead generator. My theory was that if I was the one teaching them what they needed to do to protect their rights, that when they needed the assistance of an attorney, they would look to me as the place to go. And fortunately for me, I was correct. So I would go out and speak to organizations. I would speak to you know union groups. I would speak just to 
uh, in, I would announce this in general communities and people would just show up to hear me speak. And I would hand out literature. I would hand out educational content and I would give my contact information for people to follow up. And it became a very potent and very effective lead generator because I wasn't just an attorney who was handling workers' compensation cases. I was the attorney that was educating them on how to protect their rights in workers' compensation cases. So I've got direct experience with how effective that can be is the point. Now, systematic lead generation. If you understand that your business is about getting in front of people who have the ability to take advantage of what you do and what you know, then you under, you need to understand that leads are the lifeblood of your business. Everything that you do revolves around how many people you can make aware of your availability to do it. So I'd ask you right now, what are you doing currently to consistently generate leads in your business? Because again, that is very much a litmus test for how seriously you're taking your subject matter expert business. Now, again, don't fret if you can't answer that definitively, if you're not being consistent about it. That's why we're here. We're here to make some suggestions for you that might help you to take action in improving the quality of what you're doing to generate leads. So here are several things we recommend that you consider doing in order to become more effective at generating leads. Number one, we recommend that you join a speakers bureau. There are speakers bureaus for high-end speakers, people that are very much in demand, you know, these, these big name speakers. And then there are speaker bureaus that focus on helping people that are not household names today, but who have great content and great ideas and great ability to be helpful to others to become the next household name. You just have to go out and find them. Now, we recommend that you regularly do speaking engagements. And that's not hard to do today because there are lots of people that are looking for content. There are organizations that you can speak for. There are people that host internet radio shows and, and podcasts and, and that have TV recording studios and things of that nature where you can get in front of them and share your expertise with their audience. We certainly recommend that you speak at events and that you host events. And neither of those have to be daunting tasks, especially if you start off by speaking at other people's events. That's why you'd want to de develop what we call a pitch pack. That's where if you wanted to be on a radio show or a TV show or you wanted to introduce yourself to an organization that might consider hiring you to come in and speak or at least giving you an opportunity to address their audience, then having your most critical information easily accessible to them in the form of a pitch pack makes a lot of sense. Now, if you're doing any level of speaking, you have to have a place for people to congregate once they've heard you speak, whether it be your mailing list, whether it be a Facebook group, whether it be an, a LinkedIn group, if you're business to business, you definitely need to have a vehicle by which people can stay connected to you. We recommend that you have an email marketing system Maybe, you know, something like AWeber, MailChimp, Constant Contact, GetResponse, Infusionsoft. There, there's, a, there's no shortage of quality email marketing systems to choose from. I would just encourage you to get some professional help with respect to choosing the one that makes the most sense for how you'll use it so that you don't end up overpaying for it. But if you were to follow those four simple things, speaking uh, at engagements, joining a speakers bureau, speaking at events, your own events, um, and then having a follow-up system, an email marketing system to connect with people that you connect with at these events, you would be light years ahead of the typical subject matter expert. Now, the next thing that we believe is a very important component, and it's where a lot of subject matter experts miss the mark here, especially if they consider themselves to be primarily coaches and consultants. And I'm going to spend a little time on this because this is important. We recommend that you get connected with the notion or with the idea of having a digital product. And that requires you to have a place to produce digital content professionally. Now, if you don't have an online course or a, you know, a, a CD or an, or an audio book or some other type of 
content that you can share for, you know, either, either as a lead generator or for profit, then you may be missing big opportunity in your subject matter expert business. We recommend that you fix that immediately. And it's not complicated today to do all this. You just have to know that it's something that should be done. And I'm going to share a little bit about my story to illustrate why you might also want to think about it. So I found in my personal experience that content is king. Whether you're giving it away to create credibility with people, whether you're giving it away as a lead generator to your mailing list, or whether you are selling or offering it for sale, you have to be about offering quality content. And that content needs to be produced in a professional environment so that the production values don't distract from the message in your content. If you're a high-end speaker or you want to be a high-end speaker or you want people to take you seriously, it's very difficult to do that when you're recording your top-of-the-line course from your smartphone. I'm not saying that there aren't people that have been successful in doing that. I'm just saying that the number of people who are being successful in doing that is relatively low compared to the people who take the extra effort to produce a professionally produced information product. So let me give you my story as it relates to that. Back in approximately 2004, I retired from the practice of law and I began doing other things. And the first thing that I did, because at the time that I retired from the practice of law, the only other thing I knew how to do was how to generate business through referrals. In my law practice, I had always been a, effective as a rainmaker, bringing in new business. I already talked with you about one of the things I did, which was, in fact, to go out and teach. And so when I left the practice of law, I had the bright idea to start a course or to create a course where I would teach other people how to do what I did in my law practice, which was to generate business through referrals. And I called that Referral University. Referral University was simply this, three CDs and a PDF workbook that I had on the CD that allowed someone to learn the process that I had developed for generating business through referrals. Very simple concept. I often went out and spoke to introduce people to the opportunity to buy the course. And so again, I was combining the teaching with the introduction to the digital product, just like I'm encouraging you to do. And I did quite well with that. Believe it or not, back in 2005, 2006, by the time I developed that course, it was selling for about $500. Now think about that, it was three CDs, which was about three hours worth of content and a PDF workbook that took me essentially two or three hours to create and, and to make complete. I did that one time and I was able to sell that in rooms of 20, 30, 40 people. I would get at least 10, 15, 20 sales every time I did a speaking engagement. So not only was it very effective, but it also was very low overhead because it was just a matter of my speaking. And then, of course, many of those people who bought the course also then wanted coaching. They wanted help with building website, all kinds of things that I had experience with. So having that digital product is a key element in being effective as a subject matter expert. And remember, whether you're giving the content away as a lead generator or whether you're selling the content, you can't do either unless you have it. And that's why we know that it's all about the content. Now, I also had, in 2009, a desire to write a book. I hired a book coach. She did a fantastic job of helping me create my first book. It was both hard copy and audio. I had two CDs and the audio book, so the theme is similar. Two CDs and a book, two CDs and a book. This book was called Let's Not Be Partners, Things You Must Do Before You Tie the Knot. I was basically sharing the expertise I had developed as it related to how, to how to make good decisions about who to go into business with for the right reasons. And the thing that was really stunning to me about this book is that I was able to sell 100 copies of the book before I even finished writing it because I created a little hokey video. It wasn't very professional back then. This was before 
video live streaming came into into vogue. We didn't have Facebook Live. We didn't have Periscope. We didn't have Busker. We didn't have any YouTube Live. None of that stuff existed. We were barely doing, uh, we were barely doing consistently live streaming audio on, on platforms like Blog Talk Radio and things of that nature. So I literally did this little one minute video from my living room. I was actually home based at that time from my living room and sold a hundred copies of that book before I even finished writing it. Now the book sold for $30 a unit that included the two CDs and, and the uh, hard copy of the book. And I paid $6 per unit to produce the CD CDs and the, and the hard copy. So I was literally clearing $24 in profit after paying my expenses. And since I wasn't selling it through a third party like Amazon, it was all profit to my bottom line. I mean, after merchant count fees and stuff like that. The reason I mention that is because we sold a thousand copies of that book during the 12 months subsequent to its production. And I sold those primarily by going to speaking engagements to talk on that topic and having people at the event then want to buy the CDs and the book. So I hope you see the recurring theme here about how speaking engagements and a, and a, a back of the room sale led to essentially what amounted to pure profit because it only I only had to create the book once, I only had to create the see the audio version of it once and it became a perpetual tool or a perpetual income generator for me. Now, believe it or not, I actually give that PDF book away, the PDF version of it away, along with the audios. And I now use what used to be a paid asset for me as a lead generator to bring small business owners into our community for Village Connector Community. So again, you have the ability to repurpose these assets when they've you know run their primary shelf life, you can repurpose them for other things, including lead generation. So one of the things that we recommend, of course, is that you create a digital product. And that digital product, as I said, is going to serve you well because it can be used for list building, meaning getting people onto your mailing list or into your village, or into your uh, Facebook community or your LinkedIn community or wherever you decide to have them congregate. It can also be sold for just enough to cover your marketing expenses of building your mailing list. Imagine if everyone that came into your world actually ended up purchasing a small introductory product for you that went into your marketing budget and allowed you to expand and, and, and grow your marketing so that you could then introduce them to more expensive upsell upgraded products on the back end like your personal coaching or your group coaching or some other more detailed uh, course or product. If you think of it from that perspective, then you really should now understand that it is all about the content. And this is not difficult to do. I can assure you that if you can stand in the front of the room and speak, that you can create a digital product with a lot less effort. Now, I want to talk a little bit about continuing education. We talked about the fact that, you know, engaging in continuing education is a very important component to being serious about your business. So I'm going to tell you my story on that. And my story is very a simple one. I've always been fascinated by technology. And I have literally studied every marketing trend on the internet from the time that the internet was publicly available, which in most parts of the country became approximately 1992-93. I built my first website in 1997. It was for my law firm at the time. And I learned a lot from that. I went to CompUSA and actually learned how to write HTML code and then built my own website, not because I had to, but because I was interested in it. And it gave me great insight to learn how to do that because then when I hired web developers, I knew what quality looked like because I knew how to do it myself, even though it was not the most efficient way for me to do it, meaning building them my on my own. I then was able to hire people, but I could know exactly what I was getting because I knew how to do it. Now, one of the other things I always kept up to speed on is technology. I actually, in my law practice, before I closed the doors to the law practice, had my own recording studio even back then, as early as the year 2000. And I learned a lot from 
tinkering and playing around with video production. At the time, we were recording videos and putting them on VHS tapes. That's how that was the standard in the industry back then. But the bottom line is that that knowledge then came back to benefit me with what we do today with an internet television and radio network that does live streaming, pr- recording, events, all of that stuff. I had a very early introduction to video production that translated very nicely into what I do for uh, what I do primarily today. Never thought when I went to law school that I'd end up with my own internet television and radio network, but that's exactly where we are today with Village Connector Community. So I spend a lot of time keeping on the cutting edge of communications technologies, of marketing technologies, of web web um, you know web tech you know membership portals and things of that nature. All the latest stuff, software as a service offerings that help speakers, trainers, coaches, authors, subject matter experts to enhance what they do for a living, make their jobs easier, to reach more people deliver content efficiently, and be more profitable in their businesses. That's the education that I go through. Now, of course, it helps for you as a subject matter expert to continue your education in your subject matter, but then also to at least be aware of what's happening around you. I'm not telling you you have to be expert in internet television, expert in internet radio, or expert in membership portals. But you have to understand enough about them to know whether it fits nicely with what you're trying to accomplish in your subject matter expert business. Frankly, that's why people come to me because I'm I'm expert in the things that they need, just like you're expert in the things that your customers need. So one of the things that you want to be focused on is staying on top of best practices in growing a subject matter expert business. You want to be aware of new technologies and take the time to think through where those should show up in your business. You want to make sure that you are considering how to deploy resources in your business that make you better, more effective, more efficient, and more profitable in growing your subject matter expert business. And you definitely want to stay on the cutting edge of what's available for you to efficiently and effectively create content. Because as we've already recognized, it's all about the content. Now, just to illustrate that point a little bit further, I want to talk a little bit about live streaming technology. This is huge right now. Most subject matter experts I know are aware of this thing called live streaming. And at the same time, they're not appreciating where that should be deployed in their business. One of the most popular lecture subjects that I have been asked to offer during the last 12 months has been how to become an influencer through live streaming. I have a presentation I do called The Art of the Connection, Becoming an Influencer Through Live Streaming. And that's exactly what live streaming technologies allow you to do. It allows you to reach a very broad, very diverse audience of people that are interested in your subject matter and that have the ability to become your customer as long as they know you exist. And live streaming is the platform by which you could be doing that. Now, this we could we could spend an entire webinar or two just on live streaming. We're not going to do that. That's what the art of the connection is all about. But let me just add that if you just take the time to understand that live streaming is like having your own channel for people to tap into you anytime you like. You can reach a global audience or a local audience. You can actually reach people with just like an instant on type of arrangement. Now, a lot of subject matter experts are doing this right from their smartphones, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a great vehicle to to get out there. But the truly astute subject matter experts are finding themselves a professional production environment that allows them to live stream to Facebook Live and Periscope and Busker and YouTube Live and other platforms like that but using a professional recording environment because it just expands your visibility, it expands your professionalism, and therefore the credibility that you generate every time you step in front of the camera. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with doing a quick video from your backyard or your kitchen or while you're in the car, 
But most people want to see more than that if they're going to spend significant money with you to have you coach and work with them. So just keep that in mind. So live streaming is one of those things that on a continuing education basis, you want to be staying on top of because there's new live streaming platforms coming out every day. Each of these live streaming communities has its own character, its own uh, demographic. And depending on who you're seeking to serve, some of them may more be, be more productive than others. Instagram just came up with the ability to do live streaming in Instagram. That's a younger crowd. And so depending on who you're, if you're serving millennials, that's a great place for you to consider being, being visible. Now, we talked about this concept of collaboration. And this is probably one of the single biggest opportunities being missed by the largest number of subject matter experts I know. It's as if we don't want to share the stage with others for fear that it might diminish the attention that we get. And I'm here to tell you from my own personal experience that the direct opposite is actually true. So collaborating with other subject matter experts to speak at events, to share information, to int get introduced to organizations together as a unit or individually, but through a network, is probably one of the most powerful resources a subject matter expert can have. That's why speaker bureaus are so powerful. because. People come there specifically to find people that speak on a variety of different topics. And if you're present, they're, look, they're looking for you too. So let me give you my story as it relates to that topic. So I have around me here at Village Connector Community one of the most potent groups of subject matter experts that I believe exists anywhere that are coordinated in their effort to work together to host events, to host their own events, to speak at events that we host here, to use the technology resources, the two studio, the, the two TV studios and the radio studio that we operate here. When you are in the company of other subject matter experts and you can put together literally an event with a few emails and market that event jointly with each other, and know that you've got a facility from which you can to uh, you know at which you can host the event and live stream it it really kind of simplifies your workflow pretty dramatically most subject matter experts i know are not hosting events consistently because of the cost they've got to rent a hotel room if they want to record it they've got to rent a videographer services if they want to live stream it then they have to have a specialty videographer and it goes on and on and on but when you're working together with other professionals, the cost of doing all that can be shared amongst you as a group, and therefore, you can leverage your dollars more efficiently. Now, like I said before, personally, when we host events here at Village Connector Community, we have, I, I can't even count, we probably have 25 or 30 regular subject matter experts that speak on topics from everything from personal development, self-help generally, to health and wellness, to professional developments, getting started in business, uh, growing your business, uh, career path uh, type stuff. Pretty much anything you can think of that is health, uh, that is self-help related, we have experts that cover it. And so when we host an event, it's literally a matter of me just thinking about, okay, here's the topic, here's who speaks on that topic that's part of our family here. Let's clear a date, put it on the calendar, schedule our video, our, our studio engineers to come in to run the equipment, and we're good to go. That's the benefit of working together with others. Because I can tell you, when you're trying to out, you're trying to slug away out here on your own, I understand that it can be pretty lonely and it can be pretty difficult, and that's why you're not doing it on a monthly basis because it can take a lot of effort and a lot of a lot of uh, economic resources. But it doesn't have to be that way. So that's my story on it, and I, I will also add that the relationships that I have developed with other subject matter experts over the past seven years has resulted in my grossing about $537,000 in the past seven years. That's an average of just over $75,000 a year of revenue that I generate from consulting, coaching, and information product sales that result from the people in my network who have made referrals to me. That's just one source. So getting to know other people who are complimentary what you do, that's huge in your business.
because I didn't have to pay for any of those referrals. Now, I obviously have the opportunity to make referrals out as well and do that frequently. But the point is, none of that would happen if I hadn't sought the opportunity to have those relationships in place. So, collaborating with others makes it simple and easy for you to host multi-topic events. By multi-topic events, I mean you can host an event where it's all about business, but you've got a business coach and a life coach and a and a, and a, a, a marketing person and a financial person, whatever it is that may be interested to business owners. You can pull all that together pretty quickly when you work together in a group. You can create panel discussions. And more importantly than anything else, you can create a, a, an environment where the effort to put the event on is shared by everyone. Now, those are just five simple things that you can do right now to really take your subject matter expert business seriously. And if you did just those five things, I guarantee you that this next 12 months could be your best year ever because it doesn't take forever to start getting results. The good news is that these technologies that allow us to reach the masses through social media and live streaming can put you in front of an audience very quickly and very effectively. But it's up to you to make the decision to turn what you just heard into something that you not just you don't just know, but that you're doing. One of my favorite um, quotes comes from a gentleman by the name of Leo Bascalia, which is, to know and not to do is not to know. I'm encouraging you not to be the person that knows what you should be doing but's not doing it because that's the reason that you're not achieving at the highest level that you could in your business. So I'd like to stop here and just have you ask yourself the question, what have you learned today? I suspect that a lot of the things I've shared with you today are not new. They're probably things that you've heard before. They're also probably things that you may not be taking action on. And that's why I want to encourage you to change that today. A lot of these things that I share with you probably appear to be common sense. But until you make them common practice, they're not going to make a difference in your business. So let's take common sense and make it common practice so that we can get extraordinary results. So it might also be the case that you are somewhat overwhelmed by all the things you could do to take your subject matter expert business seriously. And I want to assure you that there are some very simple things that you can do to have the effect that we have here without having to go back to school to figure all this out. So let me share with you how the Village Connector community could help you to take your expert business, your subject matter expert business seriously. The big challenge for you right now is making some decisions. Do you want more from your subject matter expert business? Are you willing to try some new things? Are you willing to make a investment in the future of your business? If that's you, then we might be able to help you. Now, one thing I know for sure is that you are a subject matter expert. You wouldn't be sitting here listening to this if you weren't. And while you may be expert in your subject matter, you're probably not expert in how to market your business, how to grow your business, how to create new opportunities, new income streams, new cash flow in your business. And I will admit that if you're new to it, it can be overwhelming. I mean, knowing what to do and what to do next and what to do after that can be a little bit overwhelming when you don't have the benefit of your own subject matter expert to guide you and to give you direction. So if you're still out here searching for what you should be doing in your business and you'd like to bring that search to a conclusion, I know that there are other places, other people, other resources out here that you could use, but I think that we have assembled one of the best resources ever for subject matter experts who are taking their businesses seriously. And so if you'd like to see your opportunity for the next 12 months and beyond to be dramatically changed from what it's been from the past, I'd encourage you to take a few minutes to digest what I'm about to share with you. 
So as I said earlier, Village Connector Community is an internet television and radio network that focuses on personal development. We serve both consumers of content and producers of content. As the name suggests, Village Connector, we connect you to your ideal client based on their interest in the things that you teach on. We make it simple and easy for you to get connected to people who can use your expertise. We operate two TV studios and a radio studio. And from those, those, three, those three studios, we help our members to produce educational content for pay or for lead generation purposes. We host events where you're invited to speak and all you have to do is take the stage. Use it as lead generation by getting your mailing list built through the speaking engagements. We also help you to get connected to other subject matter experts with whom you can work together in hosting your own events and sharing referrals back and forth with each other. Now, because of my body of knowledge, my experience over the years and all the things that I've done to educate myself and our team of professionals here at Village Connector Community, we're experts in digital marketing, Facebook ads, lead generation, SEO, all those types of things, website development. Now, frankly, that's not what we're here to talk about today because we're. I just want you to understand that we are able to do for the village as a whole, our, our bureau, our speaker bureau, we're able to do for the people that are joining our organization what we also consult and do one-to-one -one with clients. So with that in mind, we all know, as we've previously discussed, that leads are the lifeblood of your business. And if you can put yourself in a position to attract people consistently and efficiently, you can position yourself to generate substantial profit as an expert in your subject matter. Very simple formula. The more people you get in front of who are your ideal client and the more effectively you share your value proposition, the more you're going to profit by being of service to those people. That's a pretty simple formula. Most of us may not stop to think, of about, think about it that way, but that's exactly what we're talking about. Getting exposure to people who are in need of what you do and can benefit and doing it in a way that influences them to give you an opportunity to be of service. That's what we're talking about with respect to the Village Connector Community Speakers Bureau. Now, our members enjoy a rather substantial package of benefits. The first thing that we do as an organization is to give you a profile in our Speaker Bureau directory. The Speaker Bureau directory is where organizations, businesses, nonprofits, and other organizations come to find people to invite to speak at their organ at their you know, their, their organizational meetings. Some of those might be paid engagements. Some of them might be free, but they're lead generation because they're getting you in front of your ideal client. Whatever it is, you need opportunities to speak. Currently, I get invited an average of two to three times, maybe three or four times a month, unsolicited, to speak at events. I actually turn down more events than most people speak at during the course of a year because I can't be at everything. That's one of the reasons why I decided to create the Speaker Bureau component of what we do here so that I can start giving other people the opportunity to take advantage of the speaking engagements that I cannot attend. And so because I've been at this so long, I'm in less need of some of these things that we're putting in place for folks that are just getting started or may not have figured out the formula at this point in time. So our Speaker Bureau directory is a great place for you to get found by people, organizations, employers, whoever it might be, that can use your expertise in front of their audience. We also have an expert directory, and I'm going to show you that in just a minute. The expert directory is more for the end user, the people who you would be serving directly as your customer, your, con your consulting client, your, um, your member of your membership website. There's a different type of information that someone looking to hire you as a coach may want to see compared to an organization looking to bring you in to speak. 
So you need to have both of those to be effective. And the most speaking bureau, speakers bureaus, they don't have a subject matter expert directory. They just have a speaking directory that talks about what you speak on. In fact, I'm the only, I think that the Village Connect community, based on our research, is the only organization that has both a speaker directory and a subject matter expert directory, addressing two different audiences on behalf of the same individual. That would be you. Now, we also here at our facility in Laurel, Laurel, Maryland, host monthly speaking engagements on general personal development, self-help topics, on health and wellness-related topics, and on professional development topics. And our speaking members, if they just signed up to become a member for the sake of having the Speaker Bureau directory and the Expert directory and attended our monthly events to speak where all they have to do is show up, we, we organize the event, we promote the event, we live stream the event, and you just take the stage and invite people to get connected to you as part of your sharing your content. If that's all they did, there would be an incredible value just with that. And let me explain also that even though we're located in Laurel, Maryland, we have people from all over the country and other parts of the world that come here to use our studios to produce and record content. So I don't care where you're hearing this from. If you were to look at what it would cost for you to walk into a recording studio local to you, it's probably the case that we can get you into a better production environment for what you're doing for a fraction of what you would pay to do it in your own backyard. You need to have the ability to also host your own events periodically. We recommend monthly, but I would tell you at least twice a year, at least quarterly if possible. We do that. We give you the ability to do that right here at our facility. We have many members that host events on a monthly. Some people are doing weekly. And that gives them the opportunity to be able to live stream from any of the three studios. We have people that are producing radio shows weekly as well. And radio shows for us are actually TV shows because they're being recorded and live streamed in video format while they're in the radio room. And this is all professional equipment, by the way. If you are not doing um, continuing education on a regular basis, you should consider a membership with us so that you can get plugged in and stay tuned in to the latest technology, the latest evolution in the technologies that exist out here from a marketing perspective, from a communications perspective, from a content delivery perspective. These are the things that we regularly stay on top of to bring you the most current information available. And we pride ourselves on that mostly because it's important for somebody to be looking out for you. And that's what we make it a, a commitment to do here. Live streaming. We offer our members the opportunity to be able to live stream anything that they're producing, whether it's going to be a paid content program or it's going to be a pre-recorded program or it's just going to be a general live stream event, we have the technology to do that from each of our three studios. And by becoming a member of the Village Connector Community Speakers Bureau, you're also putting yourself in the company of a lot of great subject matter experts that will make great subject uh, great collaboration and referral partners for you. You see, you're in business for yourself, but you should not be in business by yourself. Being in the company of other folks who are in the industry that you are participating in, meaning speaking, coaching, training, educating, is a great way for you to enhance your overall appeal to your ex, uh, to your to, to your uh, expert um, your, your your end user clients, but also to organizations that might be thinking about hiring you or bringing you in to speak. So what I'd like to do now is just kind of show you. Just you know, we don't we don't want to spend too much time on this, um, but I would, I do want to show you a little bit about what the infrastructure looks like from the expert directory perspective. So we've created a learning center at Village Connector Community called the Education Center. And it has free content. And we have articles, we have videos, we have reflections, all kinds of things that people would want to have access to on a um, free basis 
organized categorically by subject matter. And with that free content, we're able to attract your ideal client. We market this through Facebook ads and through other things that we do to drive traffic to the website. When people come to the website and they get into the direct, they get into the education center and they find a topic they're interested in, if they find that they want to go deeper into that topic, we give them enough to get them, you know, to kind of whet their appetite, give them an opportunity to understand why they should want to go deeper into that. And at the bottom of that section, there's a place for them to click to get connected to experts that are expert in those subjects. So whether it's success mindset, motivation, teaching people time management, leadership, if they're in that section of the direct of the uh, of the learning center, they can then click the bottom of that section and be directed directly to the directory of those experts, and they can explore your profile, and then decide whether to get plugged into what you're doing. Your profile will include your logo, your bio, a picture of you, and if you're willing to travel here to our studios we will actually interview you in an infomercial style interview from one of our studios. And that video will be featured on your profile. Now I can tell you right now that there are people who have paid tens of thousands of dollars to record an infomercial that then gets aired to an audience. And I know that because back in 2004, I actually participated in the production of an infomercial for a product I was doing cost us $25,000 to fly to Hollywood to produce an infomercial that we then aired on local television stations around the country, cable television stations. Today, you can actually reach a larger audience for a fraction of that by simply becoming aligned with an organization like ours. Your speaker profile also includes a place for people to fill in their name, their address, email address, a question, and from your profile, literally submit their contact in, or their contact information, their question that you will then receive by email right from your profile. And finally, your profile includes all of your contact information, your address, your name, your telephone number, your email address, your LinkedIn profile, your Twitter profile, your Facebook fa fan page, and a link to your website. Now remember, we also have a directory listing for speakers. The content is similar, but again, it's geared towards what an organization looking to hire you as a speaker would want to know. We're not going to go through that. You get the idea. Now again, this profile would be meaningless unless you are generating traffic to it. And that's why we give away the free content because now we can we can send you highly targeted traffic because people wouldn't be clicking on the leadership experts unless they were interested in going deeper into the subject of leadership. It also sends the traffic directly to your profile so that they don't even have to leave our website to get connected to you since all of your contact information is right on our website. And this all requires minimum time, minimum effort, minimum investment on your part. Now, when you look at that, and then we add to that the fact that we've got our production facilities. I want to share, I want to take you through a little tour of some of our different studios and the sets that we work with. We have a virtual set studio where we can make your background look like virtually anything you want it to. We have a physical set studio with an event room that seats up to 70 or 80 people in theater style. And the front of the room is a set that you can live stream from, record from, with or without a studio audience. We have a variety of different sets and the ability for you to use all of them for different purposes, depending on what you're trying to accomplish. We also have a radio room where you literally have, it, it's almost like having a TV set that is themed after a radio room, but it is a live production room. And when I mean live, it's really radio. In other words, you could come in here and just record audio voiceovers, record the audio version of your book. I'm doing the webinar from this room right now. So the bottom line is that we're just not, I'm just not on camera. But the bottom line is that this radio room is the same kind of radio room you would see for, you know, traditional radio stations. The only difference between us and them is we don't we don't broadcast over the airwaves, we broadcast over the internet. 
Now, that's a lot of value if you were to go back and think about what I just shared with you in one membership, one organization, one place to go for basically all of your needs. We're almost like a shopping mall for subject matter experts with respect to all the things that we offer. So I know that was a lot, so I want to walk you back through it just real quick. So we offer you the Speaker Bureau Membership Directory Listing the expert directory listing. We have the ability for you to come and speak at monthly speaking engagements on your area of expertise. You have the ability to host your own events with us. You also have the ability to produce a professional digital product, professionally produced digital product. And we also give you guidance on that too. Unlike a recording studio that's just going to sell you recording time, we actually help our members to map out their... um, their, their products help you to you know price them and to, to plan them out. One of the things I forgot to put on this uh, list here is we also give you a, a marketing consultation where you can go watch a video on how to create your marketing plan. And if you take the time to draft it, we give you crit, crit, uh, feedback that allows you to formalize your marketing plan. We also offer the virtual coaching and, of course, the continuing education because we get you plugged in to our system where you can actually get continuing access to new, the latest and greatest content, the greatest and greatest information about what's going on in the industry. That's a lot of value. We also, of course, have the ability, if you're recording in the studios or using the studios, to not only record what you're doing, but to live stream it for you. We can live stream it to your Facebook fan page. We can live stream it to your Periscope account. We can live stream it to your YouTube live account. We have the technologies in place to do all of that without your having to think about it. All you've got to do is to show up and be ready to speak. And of course, by becoming a member, you have access to the other members here with whom you can collaborate to put on better events more frequently and with more diversity in subject matter. Now, that's a lot, I realize. And there's a lot of people who are probably thinking to themselves, that sounds like it's going to be quite an investment. But I'm here to tell you that unless you are just simply not taking your business seriously, that this program is being offered at a price point that is definitely within your, within your budget if you are serious about your subject matter expert business. So let's talk about the investment. The investment is very simply this. $1,500 annually to plug into everything I just described. The only thing that you might pay extra for is your studio time. And the studio time is currently, at the time we're doing this webinar, just $150 an hour. Now, I encourage you to shop around and see if you can find a recording studio that has professional equipment, professional producers for under $1,000 an hour. 500 to to $1,000 an hour is the rate depending on where you are in the country. But I'm telling you right now that there is no professional recording studio out here that's offering $150 an hour for what I just described to you. I know that. That's why we created it. We didn't want price to be a reason why you wouldn't get into a professional production environment. And we have a purpose beyond just selling studio time. Our goal is not to sell studio time. We actually are looking to create the largest network of subject matter experts plugged into their own internet television and radio network because we have other ways that we're able to monetize. So this is more like a co-op. We don't sell your content. We actually are giving you an opportunity to attract, attract your customers And we have other things that we can do to generate profit. So we're basically sharing the cost of operating this facility with the limited subject matter experts that are invited to take a look at joining the family here. So you're basically paying a fraction of what it would be if it was retail or commercially available elsewhere. Now, frankly, I haven't seen an internet television and radio network that caters specifically to public speakers and subject matter experts. But if you can find one, I guarantee you it won't be $1,500 a year. 
It won't be $150 an hour for studio time. It will be dramatically more than that. And I encourage you to shop around and see if I'm accurate on that. If you find a place that's cheaper, I'd love to see it. I'd love to hear about it. Because I, I, as I said before, we did our homework on this. And we have a specific reason for just simply sharing the, the overall cost of operating this facility amongst our members and not turning that into purely a profit center. And I don't want you to think we don't make any money on new members joining. That's not true. It's not accurate. But our primary profit does not come from simply making the, the facility available to you. If we were selling studio time for the sake of studio time, we would have to charge what every other studio charges, which is between $500 to $1,000 an hour. Now, you make the decision for yourself. $150 an hour or $500 to $1,000 an hour? Which one of those makes more sense when it's coming out of your pocket? <laughs> I'll give you a second to think about it because that's about all it'll take. Now, we have covered a lot of information in a very short period of time. And I want to be respectful of your time because I know you can go back and watch this again if you need to. But more importantly, I would encourage you that if any of what I have shared with you tonight makes sense, I'm going to invite you to at least pick up the phone, give us a call, and have a personal consultation. Let's talk about how we might be able to help you enhance your subject matter expert business. No obligation. Just have a chat. And, you know, if things make sense for you, we can talk about that. If not, you know, we can part ways, friends, and just be aware that each other exists and so forth and so on. But if you're really looking to do something different over the next 12 months and beyond to enhance your capabilities as a subject matter expert, I'd love to have you pick up the phone and have a conversation with me. So if you're watching this right now from a place other than our main website, I want to encourage you to go to www.justexperts.com, www.justexperts.com. And on that page, there is a form that you can complete for us to actually reach out to you at your convenience. You can also simply pick up the phone, and the extension is my personal extension. So when you dial the number 800-306-6488, extension 1, you're going to get me, and I will have the conversation with you to see what it is you're doing to take your speaker business seriously and to also explore how we can help you to enhance that. So again, now that you know what you know, the ball's really in your court. You have an opportunity to do something very special to advance your subject matter expert business or you can continue to do whatever you're currently doing. Now, if what you're doing is working, I encourage you to continue what you're doing. But if you're not happy with the results that you're getting, if you're looking for more, if you know that you can do better and you just need to have access to the right resources, I encourage you to at least pick up the phone and let's chat about it. Now, again, we are just about over the top of the hour. I want to thank you for joining us on this webinar. I hope that this information has been helpful. Whether you become a member of Village Connector community or not, I hope that I've at least stimulated your thought process to cause you to take action, to do something to improve your capabilities for yourself and for the people that you serve. But if you believe that we can help you to do that, I want you to pick up that phone, make the call, and let's have a conversation about it. So my name is Glenn Garns. I am the founder of Village Connector Community, and I would love an opportunity to have you join our family here. I want to thank you for joining us on the webinar tonight. If you have questions, pick up the phone, fill in the form, or do both. We'll be happy to accommodate you whichever way you choose. Thanks again for joining us on this webinar. I hope that you find a way to be of service to many, and I hope you'll give us an opportunity to facilitate it. Thanks again. I'll look forward to seeing you soon.